Well, good evening, everybody on YouTube. This is Sparky Mike. Welcome to the Demonoid Drifter channel. I had a couple more tips to give you tonight, and one I had forgotten. So we'll start out with the fresh water here. Um, if you're having pH problems with your fresh water, and height of winter or height of summer when all your windows are shut, you might try a couple pieces of coral or seashells real seashells or clam shells and try that in your fresh water just a couple chunks and that'll help raise your pH you might try a piece at a time until it steadies out so that was a tip for this one I also use baking soda and neutral regulator occasionally especially when I do water changes and such and I use a little discus buffer, neutral regulator, and of course a good old baking soda. A little dash here and there. We'll bring it back up, neutral it out. It seems to fall on this tank as well. Of course, if I have the windows wide open, it stays up. So, last couple days it's been cold, so I have used the CO2 scrubber and have depleted maybe a quarter of the media that's in the reactor itself so it seems like it's probably going to become an expensive proposition so it would probably best be used in the height of winter and the height of summer when you really can't open your windows at all last two nights has been down i think 20 something last night so of course i just shut all the windows and run the scrubber. So I thought I'd give you a view of everybody tonight. Of course the gobies are in here digging big giant holes and filling up the cracks in between the rocks. And we'll venture down below. As it dawned on me, Kalkwasser used to add it way back before protein or before a calcium reactor and so I caught a couple of videos myself on YouTube last night and I don't see any problem with using Kalkwasser a bucket of this just showed up tonight half teaspoon to two teaspoons per gallon two teaspoons is the max it will dissolve per gallon and threw it in mixed it up into my automatic top off reservoir so I mixed in about seven teaspoons in there we'll see what happens hopefully that'll help pH problem that we have because it'll automatically dose that call closer which brings up the pH I had forgotten all about that in a few years since I got heavy into doing a coral tank again but one of those forgotten things and you can see about a third of the media is gone already turned purple so that was just a couple tips um, you might try call closer in your automatic top up bucket if you're having pH issues again those are my couple tips for this evening um, hopefully I can get my hands on the oxygen generators sometime this week um, they've already been bartered for so just a matter of arrangements to go pick them up and then hopefully by this weekend or next week I'll get them online and we'll see what happens to the pH with that so between the call closer oxygen generators the scrubber and outside airline two outside airlines feeding this system it's coming along it seems like I'm maintaining pH at night I don't think last night it got under 8.18 and today Oh, I take that back. 8.17 now. And my lights came on like an hour ago. So this is the low point of the day. 8.17 is my low. Daytime highs are hitting up 8.22, 8.23. So I've made some improvements. Woohoo! Everybody have a great night. Thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Take care, everybody.